Let us go, people. Good morning. Let's run these credits and let's go. Let's do this. Monday. Happy Monday morning. Welcome. Hello. Episode four of Morning Coffee Pod with BF and Stormy. Happy Monday. Let's see. Get some of these graphics kicking. Today is Monday, January 23rd. We're glad you're here with us. Happy Monday, friends. We give our chance for our friends to gravitate into the feed. This should be coming to you on my BF Bobby Fran Armchair Comic channel. I'm coming to you from my Bobby Fran Twitter and from the new Armchair Comic Facebook group. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. I see four people are with us already. Thank you. Happy Monday. I was going to say we're going to start off your podcast week, but the boys over at Patreon have already started that. So we're just going to get together and chat. Talk about podcasts. Let's say hello to, in the chat, to Scott Fitzpatrick. Checking in. Good morning, buddy. I know you said in the past this is an early hour for you, so I appreciate you waking up and putting your, acknowledging us in the chat already. Let's see. All right, let's get this date down. Let's see what our friend Storm is up to. We'll bring her in and check out. Let's say hello to co-host of Coffee With. Let's say hello to Stormy of uh, Coffee With. Let's say hello to Stormy. Uh, oh. How you doing? How you doing? I'm good. Check How one. are you? Very good. Check one. Very right. good. I keep hearing my feedback coming in, but I can hear you. Very good. How you doing this back But I can hear you. How you doing this morning? I'm all right. I'm just uh, trying to get used to all this new stuff I've got and figure out all the settings. <laughs> Yes, it is. It's a lot. It's yes, a it big, is. Uh, it's a lot. It's a big technological uh, curve. Technological curve. And, uh, the learning curve. And, uh, and the no learning curve. You and no matter you how you prepare, you this are. This stuff tends to like just this go stuff up tends on you. to like just go up on you, right before you go on air. Yeah. Right are before you, you go on air. Are you hearing me double as well? Are you hearing me double as well? No. Okay, I'm hearing me double. Okay, so I'm hearing me double. That. So I'll just deal with that. Okay. So having a good morning so far. Get the kids off to school, whatever. Yeah, we were running a little late this morning. My son didn't want to get to the bus but we made it monday blues monday well, blues I well you, i saw uh, that you uh showed up in the uh in the uh little late, feed, little feed, saying, late that and saying late, that you were running late you might not have known that you bob might not have known that also. bob was late also yeah i barely caught that and i could kind of tell he looked like he just woke up <laughs> yeah he looked like his yeah, hair he looked like his hair was freshly brushed, brushed, brushed with his pillow <laughs> for yeah. sure for sure yeah, so those guys. Yeah, are so those guys. I, are I was saying we might start, saying the, we might start day, the podcast day, but they actually, day, but they started, actually over started over there. So I figure we'll just start. So I figure we'll just start and talk. I know we got a lot of pods. Talk. To talk I know about. we got a lot of we'll pods to talk about. Chat about our day. Chat about our day, and um, we got a lot of podcasts. We got a lot of podcasts to talk about, and podcasts I'll be on later. Then we're going. We're going to cover it all. Cover it all. Cover it all. Let's see. Do we got any more comments before we get more comments before we get on to the next? My sister Kathy checking in. My sister Kathy checking in. And what is she saying? And what is she saying? I R double up here. I R double up here. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I left and when came I'm back. I left and came back on. So does it help? No, I don't think it's that. It seems like more of a. No, I don't think it's glitch. that. It seems like more of a feedback glitch. Hmm. I don't know how to. Figure All right. Well, that. Let's try to go on and see if it don't. All right, let's try to go on and see, see if it don't. Say. Hearing. Let's see. What's it say? Hearing BF twice. And story volume and is BF a little twice, low. and story volume yeah. is a little low. Yeah. Well, I can try to put myself out and put it back in, but it didn't work before. Okay. Let's try. Um, well, I can try to put myself out and put it back in, but it didn't work before. Let's try. Um, here we go. One, two. Here we go. One, two. All right, it's still coming back. Not sure why yet. Let's All see. right, it's still coming back. Not sure why yet. Let's see.
And Kathy says, good morning, Scott. All right. Well, as All we're right. starting. Well, do a little weather as we're here. starting. Let's do a little weather here. All right. Share the screen. So you can see it's mostly clear across the country. Pretty I just cold. hit the echo cancellation button on mine. Maybe that'll help. Yeah, maybe. Sometimes that just, uh, yeah, it stops some interference. Uh, let's see. Hmm. So far, so good. I'm not hearing myself. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Fine. Cool. Cool. Might have, might have canceled my echo. Cool. All right. Yes, there's always some technical bugs, and I, I can, I literally sit here for hours going over technical aspects of these shows and how I can make things better and run smoother. And no matter what you do, something about that countdown before showtime starts where just shit just goes wrong on you. So we appreciate you being here. We're sounding a little smoother now. It's kind of a symbolic for the Monday morning, right? You wake up late, you get a rough start, you got to get the sleep out of your eyes and out of your computer's eyes. So, so as I was saying, we got the radar here. Most of the country is clear. Let's see, you can see there's your infrared satellite. Go down to your tent. It's kind of cool. It's dreary here on the East Coast. How's it where you're at right now, Stormy? It's kind of chilly, but it's not too bad. Just a light jacket. But I don't mind being a little cold. But uh, once it starts snowing, I'm not good with that. But it's not too bad right now. Yeah, I like snow. I like snow if I can just sit in my house and view it. But when you have to, when you have to go out in life and navigate it, that's when snow is not. Snow is not as appealing to me when you have to like get it out of your way in order to live life. But I do love sitting in there and looking at sitting and looking at. It. Let's see. Right. We got the morning hellos to each other. I love this. Seems okay. Yes, we're figuring out that technology, cast. The only figuring out that gear. We got things going good. And Kathy says, "Good morning, Stormy." <laughs> All right, very good. Well. Before it ends up being cold coffee with, I did. I always try to start the show with a fresh hot cup of coffee and try to drink it before the show ends. You're, you're smart. You drink the cold coffee, right? Yeah, most of the time. Yeah. You don't have to worry about what what I have to worry about, letting it get cold. All right. So as we discussed last week, we said that um, every day seems to be a holiday for someone or something. I've noticed this trend. So... We're going to look at our national calendar today and start off and see what the national holidays are today. Now, today's first national holiday, for those of you who didn't know, is National Pie Day. Wow. Did you know it was National Pie Day, Stormy? Nope, not till just now, but I can get down with that. <laughs> <laughs> you can get down with that? Hey, break it down now. I'm not the biggest pie person. I like some like lemon meringue pie every now and then, but pie, are you a big pie person? Pizza's a pie, right? Yes. Um, I not all pie, but pizza's a pie, so I'm, I like pizza. Well, if you're getting a technical, then I'll go with pizza. If if pizza is technically a pie, then I'm 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 your boy. I'm right there because I love some bad pizza. I always say I like like bad cafeteria pizza or like we used oh, to, yeah. kids used to go to the roller skating rink and I eat that pizza. I don't. I just I came up on bad pizza, so I have no fear of bad pizza. So so let's break down some of the pies yeah. that I like here. They had I like a, to put it in the refrigerator and eat it the second day. So they had a little bit of, Here's the. Uh, now, okay, so you're a cold pizza person then? Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm not the biggest cold pizza person. I know people that can just write, they can just pick it up from anywhere it exists and eat it at room temperature. Not me. I got to heat every time. That's bottle of pet peeve. But I know a lot of people do like uh, day old or room temperature or even cold pizza so all right here here's a pun pun intended let's look at the pie chart and um here you can see the breakdowns of the pies that people do like looks like uh 37 percent apple we got some cherry coming in at 14 percent pecan and blueberry i eat pretty much none of those then you got 24 percent up there i do like cheesecake though. i don't really let's eat see. any of that either. yeah pie it's a cake thank you Yeah, not a big pie person, but today is National Pie Day for those of you who are interested in such a thing. And then let me see, we have a more uh, special holiday today. That was the other thing I had noticed, but that caused me to notice that it was like 
it seemed like there were multiple things on these national holidays. And, and, and initially I thought, wow, if it's their day, it must be like the only thing. Like nobody else can have that day. But apparently there can be two, three or four different things uh, going on on these national days. So uh, let's see. There was one more. I think today is also National National Handwriting Day. Oh. There it is. National hmm. Handwriting Day. Now, are, now, what is your... Uh, I guess you um do you have good handwriting? Are you big on handwriting or uh I can, are you a letter writer? But I, it's usually not very good because I'm used to sitting from work in like courtrooms and like writing stuff really quickly. So usually I can only read it and I have to like translate okay. it later. <laughs> well, you gotta transcribe your stuff. Yeah, well I know that uh handwriting has become a lost art and you're hearing more and more uh, years go by that they're even kind of saying it's kind of unnecessary to teach in schools and i i don't really understand why um it'd be a lost art of letter writing but i know i mean you at least have to learn how to write your signature but uh yeah it, it seems like uh handwriting it i would never imagine that handwriting would become a lost art i thought it was something that we were always going to kind of need but um but it is funny because now with computers and all when i when I do go to fill out greeting cards or something, I do find myself like thump, thumpering or like overthinking how to write because I just don't do it a lot anymore. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's national greeting handwriting day are... today. So yeah, greeting cards, it probably is like my most, uh, greeting cards or thank you notes. If somebody like sends us something or condolences or something. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's funny how if I overthink it when I'm like at Christmas was the most recent time I had to fill out a card and I found myself like if I stopped myself and thought it messed me up trying to trying to write. So let's see. Me too. I do that. Oh, shit. Look at Scott goes hard in the paint. He, only, he said, I've eaten pizza crusts out of my trash. <laughs> the next day. <laughs> Woo, bro. That is hungry, bro. That is cool. So that's today. So if you like pie today, or if you uh, if you are a fan of handwriting, today is your day, people. So let's see. Let me close some of these screens out. Do 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 do. All right. So I guess let's get into the matter at hand. We have a lot of podcasts to talk about. We uh, take good yep. notes as we're watching them. We just got done watching that Uncle Rico, and I managed to. Uh, Sneak a couple little witty comments in there that the boys like. Shout out Shuli and Mike and all them. Mm -hmm. Always appreciate those guys. So let's see. I'll throw the document up real quick that we share. and We throw our notes on and we'll just start going down it. And we'll just talk about our favorite podcast and what the day is going to bring. All right. So these were our notes that we took last week. Let's start with the, uh, this was the last Tuesday show at Milf Manor. How about that one? They were showing, that kind of got creepy. They were showing... They were showing the young guy, the young sons having to be like felt up by the mothers. They had some kind of blindfolded contest. Wasn't that awfully creepy? Yeah, it's the it's the mothers, the milfs, and their sons are the pick of the of the litter. I guess I don't know how to word that. Um, yeah, basically, that all the other moms. You bring your son, and then there you go. <laughs> Right. So they talked about this last week, this uh, show coming on. It's called Milf Manor. And that was the twist to this show is that uh, Mil was it Milf Manor or Milf Island. I don't know. There's a couple of them, but I thought it was Milf Manor. But at any rate, it's the Milfs. They're there. They're looking for love again, you know. And then uh, the, the surprise twist is that the the men, these young boys that they have there for the picking are essentially their sons. And they're going to all be mixed match. So the mothers are going to have to watch. The son scoring with the other sons. It's just all so weird and dysfunctional. So they had a lot of fun talking about that. Yeah. And then we talked about how um, Bob does the poses. Remember they had that um, that Asian lady on there who was doing doing the poses, like 100 poses in a minute or something? Yeah. It, it looked like really bad voguing <laughs> and like Bob was doing it. I mean, you can just come up and say that you specialize in everything. But that was that was just funny. Yeah, this woman's like, yeah, she's like, doing this shit it looks like i don't know like they said it looked like she was trying to send signals to steal a base or something i don't know what it was but it but apparently like this is something at first was like... <laughs> yeah yeah I thought it speaking was of sign language that just reminded me of really a, a, another topic 
that we talked about on they talked about on one of the shows these sign language people that you show that show up at these uh hurricanes and these emergencies no one questions them and they come in doing all this stuff and come to find out after the fact that they're merely just snuck in and are just doing gibberish like it takes it takes a deaf person after the fact to tell them that they they're not saying anything they're like just like doing the same thing like that woman does so i don't know how people and like the the uh, the town official said we don't question it when somebody uh, showed up, he said, I didn't call for a signer, but here, come on and run in the room. And the person just got instant access just like that. So that's kind of um, it's kind of odd. Uh, let's talk about now. Last week, we were want to go in and just start putting their hands in front. Of yeah. Like, yeah. Do like, what is it that, that I mean, what makes them want to go in and just. Exactly, Stormy, because until that man characterized it like that, I thought that maybe these were like known employees or entities because they had the access. But there uh, he made it sound like uh, this woman just showed up and he said, I didn't call for one. But hey, what? Why not? So, right. If she's not being paid, what is the motivation for her to show up and just like do like shitty hand signals to it? So I don't follow that either. Well, let's see. Let us see. Please. Um death that would, they would do leading the deaf to death if you're in an right and then crisis. i mean i would i would be I, I would fear that i would be exposed by a deaf person within a matter of minutes nowadays because people can like email and message people like that and so i would be super like i wouldn't do it and i would be ashamed and paranoid thinking that somebody's going to figure me out any minute so uh i don't understand that okay shout out good morning I say good morning to the OJ show, people. Good morning. Good morning, OJ. There you go. Uh, I see OJ. He and the man. He is scared. I see. To be on TV. That's right, Kat. That, that probably is. It's probably just that sickness of just that fame sickness. It's all hand job, right, Scott? We do that. Great hand job. It's like. It's like those dances, but you'll see at 11 o'clock this morning when the boys do the BS show, they love starting with that Mark Rebier song about time to get up. And then they're all in there dancing. And Bob, I always say Bob looks like he's doing like the Michael J. Fox dance because he's like, he's frantic and he's doing all this stuff. <laughs> so that's why I think of the hand jive or the Michael J. Fox dance. I say, why are you doing the Michael J. Fox, Bob? Chuck, deaf girls give the best hand jive. <laughs> hey, Chuck. <laughs> Thanks for checking in, bro. Uh, Chuck was nice enough to be the uh, first person to um, join the Armchair uh, Comic Channel Facebook group. I'd like to start my own group so I don't have to use my old stuff to broadcast. So shout out if you're watching us on Facebook, on the Armchair Comic Channel, or BF Bobby Fran, or on my Twitter. Good morning. Five people watching, and we hope you're having a good Monday morning so far as we talk about our favorite podcast and what's happening for the podcast day. Um, last week, I, I think I told you a couple weeks ago that Bo Shetty had this pattern, personal pattern that I noticed of backing out on the miserable men. And we were watching the BS show last week. Yep. And I what happened? And that's exactly what happened during it, wasn't it, Stormy? Yeah, it was. And I noticed that he showed up on uh, Misery Loves Company and didn't have any problems for one episode, maybe two, but I think one. But for miserable men, it's always a complicated thing yeah so i was thinking like so i pointed this out to you for a reason because this is a pattern that i had noticed just subtly from bachetti it's like the guys tried they wanted him on miserable man many times and he was always sick or something and after a while it got to be two times three times and i'm like okay it's a pattern now then i pointed it out to you then it happened again. So, I, you know, at least it's not just me in my head. But, yeah, there is some aversion or something going on where just Bo Shetty just can't wake up, turn on the thing, and come in to the show. So, uh, sure enough, during last week's BS show, Tuesday's BS show, Bo Shetty texted Mike Morse live and said, hey, I know I'm supposed to come in tonight on The Miserable Man, but I woke up and I'm not feeling good. So that happens again. All right. And one of the last things we'll talk about on that episode from last week, the BS show, and we'll tell you where to go get it this morning because the guys are going to be on following this stuff up. So this is, uh, the sh you called this in our notes, which is appropriate, the strangest duet in history. Rat Boy, a.k.a. Pete Lorenzo, New York, New York, with the Russian singing girl. This this was some kind of show, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, he yeah. She, uh, she looked like she wanted to punch him in the face. <laughs> Yeah, there was a lot of a deer in the headlights vibe, and I don't know how to handle this tactfully, and I wish I could kick this asshole off the stage. 
kind of thing. It was like, look at him. He's do, like he's doing his like Sammy Davis Jr. with a with a mullet kind of thing. It was crazy, and he tells her to like start the song, and then she uh, he ends up starting the song. So it was just all over the place. This guy uh, Pete Dorenzo, they talk about um, on the BS show. He is this guy looks like he's from the eighties, but this is actually from the early two thousands. He was that every guy uh, entertainer. He thinks the jack of all trades. He thinks he's good at everything, and just no filter. And the boys just love watching his videos and kind of dissecting him, much like the Stuttering John stuff. Let's see. Shout out on Facebook. Well, shout shit. out. <laughs> oh, shit, he was funny with Artie Lang years ago. Yes, he was. I loved, Artie Lang had that beautiful uh, setup when he had, um, I know I get the, oh, it's a direct TV. When he did that show for direct TV, he had a beautiful studio Great setup. He had great guests on there. And Boschetti was funny with Artie years ago. Yeah, I agree with that, Scott. I miss that. Every now and then I'll go back and watch one of those old uh, episodes. All right. And then. That picture, uh, that piece yes. here looks a lot fuller for some reason. <laughs> yeah, like there was, was, this blow, was this blowout? Was it like blowout day for him or something? Let's look at that real quick. Yeah, look at that. Look, he's got the fresh blowout going on. Got the poofy hair. Yeah. There was a. John John Bon John Bon Boney or something. I don't, I don't know what he's got going on there. But let's see. All right, and then they did the BS. That was Tuesday's BS show, and then so we'll move on to Thursday's BS show where it says, "Uh, Shuli, Shuli getting text from someone claiming to be Stuttering John, telling Shuli the price is going higher for him to start doing shows." So yeah, they've been they're trying to get Stuttering John to play along and say, "Hey man, look." We're not we're not just trying to make money because of you. We'll we'll have you join us and make money and be like part of the joke, but he doesn't want any part of it. I mean, what do you think about all this stuttering John stuff in hindsight, um, Stormy? Because I don't really believe that you were down with any of this when he was on the show, right? What do you think about this being a new like Nistler about this? And kind of just taking there wouldn't be anything not already made fun of really but it's it's not really something that he couldn't embrace and kind of just roll with yeah as far as entertainment value do you find it entertaining not knowing nothing about him and then seeing how these guys are dissecting his past do you do you find that entertaining not being I, familiar I with his do, past but sometimes it's hard to follow i have to kind of uh, listen closely as to like some of the backstories that they give but uh, for the most part, it's it's entertaining. It's just uh, sometimes I have to wonder, is he just sitting there laughing? You know, like, keep doing it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He he has no he has no uh, personal awareness about him. But but how about this morning when he was he was they they carried out this interview he was doing with this uh, sex uh, doc, this sex doctor or whatever they were talking about, who's very shy about talking about sex for whatever reason. And how about today? Yeah. He said. Behind the men's helmet, he didn't say there are glands. He said there are glands. Yeah. Did you he hear him say glands this morning? Her. Yeah, he was trying to educate her about the male anatomy, and he couldn't even, and he's got it, and he couldn't even tell her the right terminology. Yeah, yeah he's basically man-speaking to a professional, trying to convince her that he doesn't have glands, he has glands. So I'm like, uh, yep. I typed in glons, I am glons, and I am fronds, glons and fronds, and fucking Shuli liked that. He put that up right away, so shout out Shuli. <laughs> so that's what I like about it, just kind of uh, riffing and seeing where it goes. So, yeah, I mean, he'll say glons. Like, who the hell says glons? No one says glons, but John. And she corrected him right away, so let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she seemed offended at some points, but then she was intrigued by him, too. Like, she just... If it were me, I would have just ended it, but she kept going. And you, right. And you talk, well, yeah, I guess she, she seemed like a professional and she was like barreling and pushing herself through it. But yes, yeah, she was uncomfortable. And I think we as viewers were uncomfortable for her because I felt like any conversation that John has about sex, anything he says about sex is just sounds dirty coming out of his mouth and inappropriate. Oh, and I also said this morning that John was doing this. Did you notice as the more sexual the talk got, here's what he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. His nose was practically in the yeah. screen, like he was going to accost her with his nose or something. Like, uh, <laughs> I, I think he felt if he could like say enough creepy stuff and get close enough, he would actually be able to like touch her or something. So, uh, yeah, he was the other definitely trying to her, uh, you know, work his magic, so to speak. 
Oh my God. You talk once again, you talk about a guy that has no game and no gauge. I mean, no matter how many ways she put it, like he just kept like, yeah, he kept coming back and trying to be sexual and trying to throw innuendo around and try to like uh, trick her into like having sexual talk with him. But it was odd what the boys pushed it pointed out this morning is that for someone who's supposed to be a, uh, a podcast talking about sex and sexuality, she did have, she had like these words, like, I don't say the, the V word, you know, she wouldn't say the V word. Yeah. Now, come on. Now you, have you ever seen Dr. Ruth from back in the day? Dr. Ruth gives no Fs. Dr. Ruth will say everything. She's like, you take the penis and the vagina and you put the penis in the vagina. <laughs> you know, she'll do all that shit. Yeah. I mean, Dr. Dr. Ruth, how can say? you? <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, mean, I don't understand how she expects to carry does? on, um, to carry on um, adult conversations about sexuality and act like that. You, she's never going to have to refer to it by these names or hear these references. And yeah, so I, I found that, I right. found that very. Odd. Let's see. There we go. Found that very odd indeed. Let's see. We got some comments up here. Deaf girls, good, but we got that one. Yes. Go back. Let's see. Bush said he was funny. Let's see. Facebook user. Good morning. I'm at work. Well, hello, everybody. Whoever is at work, good morning. I hope we can keep you company while you're at work. It's BF and Stormy, episode four of Coffee with Morning Coffee Pod. Let's see. No, John. Those are called wart. <laughs> yeah, that dude, John, has just like no sense and no filter. And I think they've done three shows now uh, just going over this interview with this reporter and all just all of the inappropriate uh things he says and his mannerisms and just the fact that he uh he makes everything about him and it's just it's just fun and like i said the riffing it's i enjoy the riffing that comes off of that not so much talking about him or having to put him down that's all well and good too but i love i love the thought processes and where the shows go um also on the last thursday's morning Excuse me, Wednesday. Let me go back to my notes. Wednesday morning BS show. The boys played that uh, Make Bob Puke game. Do you remember where they did the baby aspirator and they showed the video? Do you remember that, Julie? Yeah, that was, that was pretty hard for me to watch. <laughs> now, um, I never did the flush aspiration, but we did have the aspirators where you had to, like, put the little bulb up there and extract. We would try to extract things if yeah. their nose was too clogged, but I never did the old flush and fill. You said you never done that either. No, I would have been scared to do that to an infant or a little baby because I mean, what if you, what, I don't know. I would have been scared to do that to mess up. Their exactly. Like you give too much pressure or you feel like you're flushing their brains or their soul out of them or something. So yeah. it was gross and I'm not much on gross stuff, you know. It might not make me puke, but I don't really need to. I don't really need to see it. But like Bob just hearing, the, whoop, 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 and they then they kept showing it over and over again. The stuff like come coming out of the one side of the baby's nose. Yeah. So um, that was funny. And that is necessary for some people, but I've never done that. It's definitely like, hard to watch first thing in the morning. Too. Absolutely, absolutely. Who wants to see that? Yeah, it's hard to All watch right. the first thing. Sure. Yep. So that was up to Wednesday, and these guys give us, we're going, we're going to talk about the last Thursday's bonus show, and then we're going to show you where you can find today's show. It's going to be, they're going to be uh, on at 11 o'clock today, in about a half hour from now. So we're going to run through these, and we're going to, we're going to go over there. We're going to try to be over there to a tight hour today. All right. So let's see. Put our notes up here. Let's see The Thursday bonus show, they had the, uh, that was the power slap show. Say that again. All right. So we have the power slap uh, show with Dana cover White. In such a short amount. Of yeah, we do. We do have a lot of notes and all, but we'll try to we'll try to get it all in there for sure. Yeah, we do. We a lot of podcasts and we took some good notes and we really enjoy watching them and talking about all the funny stuff. So we'll get to what we can. So, yeah, they had the Thursday bonus show. They got the power slap show with Dana White, which I'm not I'm not a big fan of. I've seen those. Um, We've, we've done some of those videos on some of the shows where those guys over in Europe do the big power slapping and all, but he's just formalized it and made it more of a competition. And then uh, the Lenny, the Lenny or Chad conversation. I don't remember too much about that. Do you remember that from last Thursday? People are wanting Lenny over Chad for miserable men. Oh, yeah. They were just uh, trying to decide which one they, you know, would rather have. What is, is Lenny preferred choice or Chad? Otto? Um, just, you know, just to toss that idea around to see which one you would rather be on, you know, have on screen for entertainment purposes. 
Yeah. Well, I will say that even though um, <laughs> even though Chad is can be disruptive and sometimes he goes he gets disrespectful trying to shoot back at them guys. I guess he's desperate, but he does kind of uh, bring more chatter and more fodder to a show as to where Lenny just sits there and you gotta you kind of have to pull everything out of him. So, uh, but yeah. So after that BS wrap up right there, whoop, let me stop sharing that screen and start sharing this one. I got another one to share with you. So that was the BS show wrap up. If you you can see those on YouTube, a matter of fact, yeah. go to the Shuli Network page. Shout out Shuli, <laughs> Shuli Egar's killing There you go. There's waiting for BS show episode twenty two. Starts in twenty seven minutes. You can go over there and watch that. You can go see Bob do his early morning Michael J. Fox dance, all the boys dance and have a good time, and they start off their day in a funny way. So you can go check those boys Looks out like over he's there. Looks like at a rave some days. Yeah, it's some kind of rave, isn't it? Let's see. <laughs> he is funny. And then we're going to talk about Out of the Coffin in a, in, in a couple of minutes, too. That was funny. Bob's new venture. Shout out to the five people joining us on Monday morning. We hope to help you start your Monday morning off and start your week off in uh, life and podcasting and everything, letting you know what we watched last week, what's coming up this week. Um, let's see. And while, while I'm here real quick, you can see the variety of shows over there on the Shuli Network. Just go over there and subscribe to it. Fill in that bell and you'll get all the notifications. The BS Show, the Uncle Rico Show. Last night, they had the Uncle Rico Show with Anthony Cumia. That's always fun because... He loves getting in there with the boys about the Stuttering John stuff. Miserable men. Here's the first episode of Out of the Coffin with Bob Levy. That was fun last week. He did that Friday night. He did almost a solid two hours by himself. What would you think about that, uh, Stormy? That's crazy. It takes some skill to hold an audience so captive, you know, so to speak, for that long by yourself. That's pretty awesome. I agree. That That is the mastery that is Bob Levy in that. Who else can just sit in front of a screen by himself? You throw the chat comments in front of him and just flash them up on the screen, a couple pictures, and he just riffs and goes for like basically two hours, and it's endlessly entertaining. So at 11 o'clock today or anytime you BS show will be on, but anytime you want to, go over to the Shuli Network. And uh, what you can, you can find it all over here on YouTube. Although he does have a uh, Shuli Patreon too that we'll talk about as well. Let's get some of these comments. Take this down real quick. I'll pick up the pace of the show. We might run over a little bit, but let's not try to. Let's see. There's a called Wards. Let's see our boy Jerry checking in. Shuli is he also Bob Coffin with Coffee. No, no, wait, wait a minute. Got me confused on that one. Anthony was something crazy. Let's see. And Bob is the legend. That's right. Thanks for checking in, Jerry. Jerry's always in our chats and supporting us and always shouting out coffee with and all the stuff we do so thank you jerry good morning bro all right let's see see if we can keep all right now we can talk about levy land um last week on levy land on the shuli network that they did last tuesday uh bob levy announced the new show coming on with him and kevin breaking down in hot water now that that kind of was a leaky thing that got out wasn't it stormy that wasn't that wasn't supposed to get out was it necessarily no it didn't seem like it uh shuli came on shortly after he said that and it seemed like he was you know, trying to tell him you shouldn't have said anything, but yeah, too late. Yeah. Basically he said, uh, he said, we discussed this once in passing in backstage and all. And then I, I'm, I'm listening to the show and then there's Bob out there blurting it out. So yeah, I think he let a little cat out of the bag. And I've, I've noticed some of the other shows have picked up on this and are kind of like rubbing it in and letting people know, Hey, guess what? You know, these guys are going to be doing a Gino show. But then what happened yesterday? If you watch the Yesterday, Miserable Men was supposed to be on later on. All of a sudden, before the football game came on, the guys do what they do to us sometimes, and they just surprise, and they showed up on the air, and their guest was none other than Gino Bisconti. How about that? That was something, wasn't it? That was something. I wasn't expecting it at all. Whenever I first tuned in, it was right after the intro, so I didn't, uh, you know see him for a second because i didn't have my screen up and i just heard his voice and i was like wait a minute who's that yeah it was quite unexpected but not so much not so much if you know shuli because shuli is much like bob and that and shuli doesn't want these guys fighting or anything and i i put out in a tweet i said that's you that's shuli using his um come together voodoo power to unite the family because i i believe 
my sense is that's what he's trying to do. I don't think anybody, Bob or Shuley, they don't want any of these uh, these fights or arguments or this back and forth, not even for heat for their shows. These guys are true friends, and, you know, they, they carry on. Gino carries on the show, and I think, I believe that Shuley brought him on as kind of like a, a peace offering or kind of being that, you know, uniter kind of guy. I really felt that that was the vibe, and so much so that uh, after the show, I, well, I tagged people in it to let people know that it was on live, and I tagged Gino in it. And uh, Gino retweeted me and he said, hey, this was fun. Uh, sorry, I didn't know till last minute or I would have tweeted this out earlier. So I really got the sense that Gino liked it and uh, and that G Gino was in into it. And he even liked the tweet when I said that uh, Shuli is trying to reunite these guys, because I, I think he knows what's up, too. And I, I really think on some level, Gino doesn't want to be carrying on the way he does with Bob and them, you know. No, I don't think it's, so either. I think they need content and I think they don't need to break, they try not to break their character, you know, and that's kind of what they have to gravitate towards when it comes to, you know, situations on shows. Yeah. And I even question it because it, like you said, it, they need content and they, uh, they go into character. Like you said, it might be, they might be nice on this show, but I was thinking like he might come on today, Monday and just go right back into the Gino character. Like that never happened from based on some of the other stuff I saw, but I would like to see long-term yeah. them guys, uh, kind of get along, you know, it's, I'd like to see Bob go in and do the whole day at compound. Like he used to just start from the dump and go out go all the way to Kumia. Now, did you notice last week that he didn't make it in in time for the because of the rain? He didn't make it in for the yeah. Thursday compound show? Yeah, he uh, he definitely doesn't like to get out in the rain. Wow. I'll say <laughs> someone left the Levy out. How about that? I use an umbrella. Fuck, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Using an umbrella is too much trouble, apparently. Yeah, so he told uh, Kumia last night on the uh, special that was on on the Blunder Uncle Rico. They named him so many different things like Uncle Rico. That um, mm -hmm. he said, "Yeah, I'll be in Thursday as long as it ain't raining." You know, they were like, "Yeah, if it's not raining, let's see." I'm on break. Hello, on break. Well, enjoy your break. We hope to help you enjoy your break because you're watching Morning Coffee Pod with BF and Stormy, where we just talk about news and our life. And what's going on? And we talk about the podcast that we like. We're talking about Levy Land right now. And then uh, on that Levy Land last week, they also did. They were also obsessed with doing a test to see if Rob Saw was gay. How about that? That was fun, huh? <laughs> yeah, that was interesting. I at and, first I thought they were trying to set him up. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I yeah, I thought so too. And, and he kind of did too. He's like, oh, you're you're setting me up for the first one. Like, have you ever had like uh feelings for a man and and that was kind of vague like like truly said he's like, i got you on the first question he's like you're you're busting on the first question so let's see uh workflow what's up workflow let's see jerry says umbrella attacks me like an octopus yeah yeah funny just get it so yeah so uh nothing else <laughs> so i guess uh, i remember uh my lost interest shout out buddy uh he said he said later on the Rob Saul show, he was disappointed to find out that Rob wasn't gay. <laughs> so I, I thought that was a funny comment. Yeah. That is funny. And then on that show, they got into talking about Bob's new haircut. And then they asked him how much he would, uh, how much it would cost for him to shave his head bald. And that carried over onto some of the other shows. <laughs> but um, yeah, Bob always had poor Bob. Every time he has to go get a regular haircut, there's always some issue. Either color's not right or his, his girl's not there. Something goes wrong. But um, I think I most people with hair do kind of got it. What's that again? I didn't realize he colors his hair. <laughs> yeah, well, they they busted him for that like months ago. Like he would come on one show and they would show the pictures and like, Bob, your hair wasn't this color this morning. And he, he would try to deny it until they, until they showed pictures of him and he could he could really see the difference. But uh yeah, I guess it comes along with the territory being that old. Let's see. And then, um, excuse me, well, last week on that show, Shuley came on that Levy Land, which was being shown on the Shuley Network to give the official word that Levy Land is now part of the Shuley Network Empire. So we were excited to hear that for those guys. So um, now you will see your regular Levy Lands. It will, I believe they'll still be offered through Facebook. I mean, excuse me, through YouTube. 
but it will be by the way of the Shuli network and all part of that umbrella and all part of that family. So, um, and we'll talk about some more surprises that came out. If you're paying attention on, um, another podcast of another guy that's coming over to the Shuli network real soon. I think, you know, who I'm talking about, let's see. Uh, let's see. So that was that one. Uh, let's see. And then I think you made some notes about the Levy land episode that was on Friday at 1230. You said their uh, Levy land is keeping their Patreon that, that they have their own separate Patreon. And uh matter yeah. of fact, they're going to do Levy lands on there and they're going to offer a uh, bonus 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 <laughs> Rob Saul shows. And you can catch me and Anthony Zenhauser and Rob Saul this afternoon or today on a special bonus Rob Saul show. 12 noon today. So after this show, you can go watch the BS. And when you need something to watch at 12 o'clock, come click on your Patreon, Levy Land, Rob Saul show, and we'll be there. Special Rob Saul Patreon today. Shout out. Okay. All right, now we're going to talk about last week's Rob Saul show. Uh, last week, Gino Bisconte was supposed to show up, but then he ended up being a no-show guest. Uh, that's not the first time, right? This is like the second time he's not shown, yeah. right? Yeah. Did you have a feeling he might not show, yeah. or did you have any feelings about it? Did you? Yeah, I felt like uh, maybe there was just that feeling, maybe because he hadn't shown before, maybe he wouldn't. But, I mean, it was kind of expected. I wasn't let down. Yeah, I agree. It was kind of expected too, and for for the same reasons, based on the fact that um he was supposed to come on last time, and then for some reason some kind of problem popped up, and um he he couldn't make it. But uh, like I said, I think uh I think all in all, Gino is a good guy and a good funny guy. But when he gets on his rants about the COVID for too long, or if he goes in on Bob disrespectfully, that's when that's when I have my issues with uh with him. You know, let's see, but. He gets so yeah, he was supposed really to show loud, didn't like sh- um like <laughs> he gets sometimes too loud and almost sloppy like it's just kind of uh, but I think well he is better. loud and I and I said you know he he can be a fun fun guy but you know if you ever been to a bar and you're thinking about what stool to sit at and you got that guy that's sitting there with a glass or two that he looked like he's already used in front of him and he's being loud and he's carrying on you're going to go down to the other end of the bar and sit. And that's how I feel sometimes when I watch Gino's show. It's not that he's a bad guy or anything, but he's like, oh, he's that drunk son of a bitch. It's going to like, he's going to uh, sit at the bar and tell you all his politics and how he feels about it. And but, lot, most people don't go to the bar for that shit to, you know, I don't, I don't go there for a show. I go there to, to vent, you know, yeah. I would rather, if I'm going to take legal advice, I'm going to take it from somebody that took the bar, not somebody that sits at a bar, you know? So I, when I'm, yeah. so when I'm near those guys, I just kind of put myself elsewhere. And that's how I feel when I'm watching the show. It's like, if he gets too you know, political or too ranty, I just go sit at the other end of the bar or go on another podcast and just watch something fun. Yeah. But, um, uh, let's see. Rob's all show noon today. You're welcome. <laughs> That's a Patreon bonus show. You got it. See you over there, Jerry. All right. Let's see. And then Rob did make the comment because, um, you know, these fans, when they like uh, Levy, they can be brutal when you introduce a new show in the chat. And the first couple weeks, it wasn't so smooth, but um, it, it gets better and better every week. The crowd, get, you know, uh, they get more, uh, more, they get, I want to say more nice, but they get nicer and they, it's more accepting, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Um. So they talked about the, we talked about that on the Rob Saul yeah. show. And he said, he said, I didn't want to look at the comments, but I looked at what the comments and one of the first comments was, I can't stand this guy. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, Christ. And then I said right away, and it was from Chris Abels, you know, <laughs> so the guy, the guys like that because, you know, those guys tend to like to bust each other's balls. Yeah. Let's see. Bartender. Rob yeah. Saul, ego advice. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's another. Well, that's uh, bartender have always been like more like um, psychiatrist or therapist, right? I, I guess they can give legal advice too. But uh, shout out to my sister, my oldest sister Marge, who has passed. She was um she was a bartender, barmaid, whatever you call it, for years. She owned a bar for a time, and I come to know over the years that she was that person. She was basically like a therapist for people that couldn't afford one. My sister was very um compassionate and very uh, eager to listen and help people with their problems and I, this is the pattern i noticed i out of her over the years i'm like you know people we're all called to serve in a in a different way and i just discovered that that was her way and, and i know she affected many people positively uh doing that so 
Rest in peace oh, to yeah. my oldest sister, Marge. I love you. Stormy's grandma is watching oh you watching you and on the big TV right now. But come on, grandma. Hi, <laughs> grandma. Slash Scout's, mo Scout's mom. Good morning and welcome. We just talking about our day and talking about oh, wow. the podcast we like. Stormy is the one on the right, grandma. <laughs> All right. I don't have my long hair no more. She shouldn't be having she shouldn't be having those issues figuring out who Stormy is there, Scott. True story. All right, here we go. Yes. All right. So that was funny. So let's see. So we're going to the middle man. It's like ten forty seven right now. You are watching Morning Coffee Pod with BF and Stormy. And like I said, you can catch the Levy Land over on the uh, Shuli Network now. Go over to the Shuli Network and you'll get those live notifications of when Levy Land is coming on every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Just before the Rob Soul Shows, which comes on every Tuesday at 8.30 p.m. And you can see me co-hosting. All right. So like I said, we got a lot to cover. So we got through that. Let's see what we got next here, Stormy. On our little handy-dandy note thing. We got the Miserable Men, show 90. It was 8 o'clock. Let's see. Uh... Oh, this one was good. They were talking. They were talking about. Um, I guess Shuli rented a place. I don't know if it's Airbnb, but that's what most people recognize. Shuli rented a place for DabbleCon, and it came up about uh, Bob. You're going to need clothes to wear, and he's like, "What? What clothes to wear? I, 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 I'm going to have to get pajamas. I sleep in the nude." Did you 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 catch those comments during that show, Stormy? Yeah, somebody's going to have to bring him pajamas. I had the thought yesterday. They need to pack a moo moo and make him wear it. <laughs> you, or a toga at least he'll probably wrap around and yeah. sheet himself and call it called like a toga party hey shout out to the six people that are joining us live stormy we're watching the morning coffee pod we're gonna try to rifle through what we got here and then we're gonna we're gonna go over there at 11 o'clock and watch the bs show with y'all all right so we talked about rob yeah but so hopefully uh bob gets some pants because he can't be he can't be free balling in the house around the guys and then in that episode they watched that old video bit of him in the radio studio stormy when he was kind of heavy set and they had him eat all of those uh yeah. male enhancement pills how about that <laughs> yeah that was um interesting i uh at first i didn't know what was going on and i picked it up pretty quickly but yeah that was that was pretty funny yes so i guess after the stern days he would go on radio shows because he always had many friends and he would do kind of do their bits and that was one where they took those over the counter uh those uh penis pills basically and uh, he took a shitload of them and they had him in the studio and he's like pointing to his junk and all this stuff i like the note that male i wrote enhancement. There, there you go <laughs> male enhancement so um the other note that i wrote or we wrote is i wrote bob was a little chubby in the video and when i wrote it i realized it was it had double meaning because not only was he pointing at his not only was he pointing at his junk but everybody was talking about how he had a little more weight on him. <laughs> yeah, Chubby had a Chubby. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So I think I was right on both counts. So I had to laugh at my note after I saw that. I'm like, it said Bob was a little chubby. I'm like, Bob was a little chubby in this video. I'm like, they might think I'm describing his junk or something. So I just wanted to clarify that, that he was, uh, that might be the case, but he was also a little fat. He had a little weight back then. And the last great thing that they talked about in that show last week, the Miserable Man show episode 90 was Bob got his job back driving Gina to work. How about that? <laughs> he he blew it, huh? He blew it a couple yeah. weeks ago. Yeah, left her high and dry because he slept through his alarm and finally got his privilege back. <laughs> he sure did. Now, isn't that something? And I feel bad for him. And I, I feel bad for both of them because I, I would hate the f thought of her being stuck at a train station or my wife or anybody and having it be my fault. So uh, yeah. I do feel bad for both of them. But We don't have train stations but, here or anything like that. So I don't know what I would do. <laughs> right. And is Uber very, um, is Uber a big thing in your area? I know it's bigger Not in really. metropolitan areas. Not really, but I think you could probably find one, but you'd have to pay a lot for it because they'd have to drive pretty far to get to me, probably. That that makes sense. Yeah. So yeah, luckily she was in a um in a high populated area. She was at a train station, so she was cold. But yeah, and I feel bad for Bob because I think Bob overall does try to like as much as Bob 
can do, tries to dote over Gina and take care of her as much as he can. But I feel his pain because, you know, you can be a man and you can try to do these things and keep up with your spouse, but you blow it one time and you get reset back to zero. You're like, <laughs> The, the booty points go away. Any good yep. deeds or anything he did, it just gets wiped off the map. So that's what, that was my takeaway from this. I, I feel bad for my dude because he, he has, so like, so he got the job back and so he has to earn his stripes again, basically. So I feel his pain. Imagine Bob smoking in his smoke pants. Ron Bennington inventing smoke pants, invisible but covered in smoke. Yeah, he, that's, hey, that's the move, Jerry. They need to get him like a, a a ascot and a smoking jacket or getting one of those robes like the bon, bon vivant um levy when he goes to the hotels and everything so yeah, let's see that's funny. bob overslept and she pays the price outraged after her work yeah we were all watching that day and it was funny because he was on mlc getting the angry text from her and he's he's running like a like a scared boy like i gotta make sure the front door is open like during the show like he knew that he could he better not blow that part because he blew the rest but i thought it was once again i thought it was very honest and bold of him to like just read read the raw text out like hey you fucked up and i'm mad at you and he read it and that's what we like about bob there's there's no errors about him three-legged right. bob the human tribe uh, <laughs> yeah when he, <laughs> when he said that though that's what i was thinking oh there you go look jerry giving you a shout out Stormy looks amazing for this early in the morning there you go, all right so we're Thank glad you. that uh that Gina and Bob got there because I, I I would like to see them tape that because I you've seen little videos of their car rides but I bet that is entertaining just that that might be a show in itself you just put a dash cam on them too and just watch their adventure of him like driving and have to get his coffee and cigarettes and navigate operating a car and getting her I think that would that would be entertaining but yeah um, I'm a I'm a passenger driver so I mean I I can't let somebody else drive without you know, trying to be controlling kind of in a sense when I, I, I don't know why I'm like that. Do you um, put your I, foot? I try to drive even from the passenger side. Yeah. You, you, you put your foot on the imaginary brake and everything on your side when people aren't stopping fast enough. <laughs> you do that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I've been known to do that. And then back in the day before we were, had to wear seatbelts, my mother was the, my mother was the auto safety device. So I'd be sitting up in the front next to her and we hit a sudden stop and all of a sudden the arm would go like this. The armor go like that. And that yeah. was that was the airbag back in my day. <laughs> Mama airbag. You know, she stopped me from hitting the windshield in the dash. <laughs> you say you did that I too? That to adults. <laughs> there you go. Now. There you go. So that's it. That's your motherly ways. There you go. Shout out Jerry. Yeah. All right. So let's see. Let's talk about we can talk about this. It led to that out of the coffin bomb. So, yeah, the first episode was Friday night. It was a solo show. This was quite unexpected. I didn't know that they were uh, doing this. Did Did you have a sense that this was coming? Oh, I think he froze up a little bit. Let's see. But Shuli did, Shuli did uh, make an appearance yeah. on it. And uh, people started complaining, like, yeah, Bob's got this. Bob can be by himself. Yeah. And kind of Shuli was like, okay, okay, I'm out of here. But. But Bob was killing it. And I like the jacket. Like, he truly said his wife, it took her like 30 seconds to notice that Bob had a shoulder pad jacket. Yeah. I thought, yeah, that was pretty funny. I, I thought that was hilarious. I said they looked like he stole that jacket from the Talking Heads video. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Because it did. But they were coming up calling him Bum Johnson and stuff like that. I, I thought that was fun. I said that it looked like Rob was his stylist. And he said, no, Bobby Fran, Rob's not my stylist. You know, kind of gave me shit in the chat. <laughs> so that was a lot of fun. All right. Let's funny. see. Yep. All right. Well, Stormy, let's see. We got those notes. What else can we go through? We do have some more notes, but it is five minutes of. Yeah. And I think we got through most everything. So that was just talking about our favorite podcast so let's wrap up the show and let's make our way over to the bs show so i'll put this up real quick so go to the shuli network on youtube and you can see the free content there, or go to patreon patreon.com uh back forward slash the show notifications for the stuff that doesn't make it on so check that out and let's see. 
And if you don't mind, please, I will share my page. If you could go out absolutely free to YouTube and type in BF Bobby Fran, the Armchair Comic Channel, and subscribe to my page, I greatly appreciate it. You can see there's the Coffee With episode we're doing now, Sports Heads, and uh, some other comments and things I do. And I'll be doing episodes of Brother Bob in the future, my televangelist yeah. thing. So you can see all that stuff I miss Brother right Bob. there on my page. Say that again. I miss Brother Bob. You miss Brother Bob. Yeah, well, with the recent Gilman's on, Stormy, we're going to need some healing. I think there's a need That's for scary. healing, if you know what I mean. <laughs> there's lots of people that need to be healed, so Brother Bob might have to make a return. So please, BF Bobby Fran on YouTube, the Armchair Comic. And let's see. Type in this here real quick. There it is. It is 1057. <laughs> Glad you joined us. Six people still in the in the chat watching us live. We appreciate you all. We uh glad you joined us. We hope this gets your Monday day Monday morning and your day started off good. Talking about podcasts and just hanging out with some friends. We like going over all this stuff. And like I said, so the schedule for the rest of the day is we're gonna go over eleven o'clock. We're gonna go watch the BS show. And then at high noon, at twelve noon Eastern time, catch me, Anthony Zenhauser, and Rob Saul on Patreon, the Levy Land Patreon, for a special bonus episode of the Rob Saul Show this afternoon. And that'll be today's fun. So I think that's it. Let's see what we got. A couple more comments here. Eagles destroyed the Giants. Yes, they did. If you want to touch on that real quick, they did, Jerry. That was that was impressive. That uh, The Eagles beating the Giants, and then the Jags, the Jags couldn't quite pull it out. They kind of made too many mistakes. So um, that's going to be interesting. Eagles, Eagles Niners for the NFC Championship game. So we'll have to see how that goes. And Dallas, though they said they haven't been to a championship game since like 95 or 96. That city, boy, unbelievable. Let's see what Scott says. Have you noticed the difference between East Coast podcasts and West Coast? Hmm, that's interesting. I don't do too many straight up West Coast podcasts. I guess the closest I get is Steel Toe. And sometimes um, Storm and I, as far as more a progressive kind of talk about every uh, topic on the planet kind of podcast, I think Steel Toe kind of covers yeah. that. Yeah, they're all over the place for sure. Sometimes I can't watch all of it. Actually, most times I can't. I've got to watch pieces here and yeah. there. And that's the whole thing. It's not that it's a bad show, but sometimes they just talk about too much or more that you might not be interested in the very thing they're talking about at that moment. So that's it. Right. So I, the, I think, no Stormy, I think, uh, yeah, right. So I think all in all, I think we had a good second show technologically wise. What do you think, Stormy? I think Hopefully so. It's not I think that it went uh, pretty smooth. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And so whatever you got, whatever you got lot. set this week and, and you think it's going to work next time, forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so well, for sure and we well that's good Facebook we'll be group too i don't know if you plugged it. oh thank you thank you for reminding me i had that I had that open earlier i like that you're my extra brain cell appreciate that <laughs> i'll put that up and we're gonna get out of here because it's 11 o'clock at the top of the air and this is how we're going to close out today's show so yes yeah, so please as i've um i'm kind of like uh just moving on and doing kind of my own independent thing. And I didn't want to use the other channel to uh, broadcast on Facebook, but I still wanted to bring this show to you on Facebook. So this is just a branch of a channel that I already have. And I showed you earlier on YouTube, the armchair comic channel, Facebook group. Uh, so please, once again, that's free too. come subscribe and we'll share all the links for all of these shows that we're talking about. If they come on live and you don't know it and you're not getting the notifications, if you're part of this Facebook group, we'll have it there for you for sure. All right, Stormy. Thank you for reminding me of that. And with that, we're going to keep it a tight hour. We're heading over to the BS show. I will see you after the BS show at 12 noon on the Levy Land special Patreon Rob Saul live show. For Stormy, I'm BF Bobby Fran. We hope you enjoyed episode four of Morning Coffee Pod with BF and Stormy. And we'll see you next Monday, 10 a.m. We'll see you. Take care. Peace and love and God bless. See you next time we see ya. Thank you, Jerry. Bye. Peace and love. Peace and love. <laughs>